So for this argument, uh, it starts out by saying, hey, look, we got to vaccinate the high-risk groups, right? Here, let me close this really quick. They always like to start vacuuming right when I start talking. I'm like, okay, and they're like, oh, yeah, good. Here, vacuum. Anyways, um, we got we to gotta vaccinate the high-risk groups because they're high-risk. And then it says, and this is the most important thing, each year's vaccination will protect only against the strain of influenza virus deemed most likely to be prevalent that year. As soon as you read that, you should start thinking what? We're going to only protect against the one that's deemed most prevalent? Is it going to be most prevalent? Right? Even if it is the most prevalent one, what's another problem here? Oh, yeah, there could be a more serious one, or there could just be another one, right? Even if you have one that's most prevalent, you could still have one that's very prevalent. So I was like, this is not a great plan. So every year it would be necessary for all high-risk individuals to receive a vaccination for a different strain of the virus. This went in a totally different direction than I was predicting. But in a nutshell, every year it's going to be necessary, that's very strong language, necessary for someone to get a different strain receive a vaccine for a different strain of the virus. Why do you, how could you come to that conclusion? What do you have to be assuming? There's a different strain every year. There's a different strain every year. Otherwise, if there wasn't a different strain every year, then you wouldn't have to get a different strain every year, right? So, or at least there has to be a different strain that's deemed to be the most prevalent, right? Um, how many of you predicted that? Okay, great. A lot of us. That is something you want to predict. Uh, this is a, what type of question? Which one find is an assumption that would allow the conclusion above to be properly drawn? Yes, sufficient assumption, right? It's unusual because it doesn't have if in it, but we're allowing the conclusion to be properly drawn. So that's going to make it something that must be true. Um... What answers are we debating here? C and, D. C, and D. C and D. No vaccine for the influenza virus protects against more than one strain of that virus. Why does answer choice C fail to prove the conclusion? No vaccine protects, protects against more than one strain. Paul, you have an idea? I'm just curious. Why does C fail to prove the conclusion? Sorry, I thought you were raising your hand. Anyone? I feel like it's just one strain. Well, it says no vaccine for the influenza virus protects against more than one strain. So that means all of them protect against only one or fewer. Right? It doesn't account for the yearly change in strain. It doesn't account for the yearly change. So what does it, what do you elaborate? Why doesn't this prove the conclusion? Why doesn't this mean that you have to get a new well, one every because year? Because if, if it protects against one strain, yeah, and it changes every year, that means that the strain has to change every year for you to have to get a new sure, one. Sure, sure. So why is he wrong? So since it's saying that no vax, that's great, but we don't know <coughs> what strain is happening in every, any one year, so that determines which uh, which vaccine the person gets. Okay, you're right on the right track. So what could happen? You could be vaccinated for one strain, and vaccinated. then next year, a different strain comes up. Okay. So, so you that have would to get a new vaccine. Hmm? The same strain comes up. That's the issue. The ones that deemed the most prevalent, if that, if that one is deemed most pre prevalent, you know, in 2017 and in 2018, then you wouldn't need to get the vaccine again. Answer choice C doesn't address that, right? That's what... You were getting that. So answer choice E, though, each year the strain of influenza virus deemed most likely to be prevalent will be one that had not previously been deemed most likely to be prevalent. If that's true, if every year it's a new one, then every year you're going to have to get a new <coughs> vaccine. Do you guys feel good about this? They're both strong answers, but answer choice C leaves this gap, whereas D does not. Okay. Any other questions on this one? Are we debating any others, or do we just get down to... Yes? I think I was tripped up by the detail that it's the annual vaccination of 
I guess implied only high risk individuals, not like everybody. So yeah, it's it's ends up being like totally irrelevant, right? Like, the question is, of these people who are going to get vaccinated, why is it the case that they're going to have to keep getting a different one? That's it. That's all we're concerned about. Um, okay, cool.